Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create Amazon product variations in Seller Central. Now, Sumner already has a similar video here on the channel, but after Amazon has been changing a lot um, on their interface, we wanted to make sure to give you this complete up-to-date video and there's a few things that sometimes confuses a lot of sellers when they're creating their variation. So I wanted to make sure to um, go through everything step by step and um, try to avoid any confusion. So this is very easy for you guys. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos that we're bringing to you guys. That's very, very exciting. And we believe it's going to be very helpful for you guys too. So let's go ahead and get to it. So from your Seller Central account, go hover over inventory and click on manage inventory. From here, click on the add a product button. That's going to bring you to this page. And then you're going to click on this link that says I'm adding your product not sold on Amazon. Then here you have to select your product category. And you can either do that by browsing it and then following a path. So for example, appliances, and it's going to start showing you more and more options until you're able to select a subcategory or you go here and you can just search for it and then select the best path that applies to your product. So for example, with toiletry bags, you see that there is a path that is under beauty and personal care then tools and accessories, bags and cases, toiletry bags, and then you would select the category. Or it could be under the overall category of clothing, shoes, and jewelry. And if you're creating this from scratch, I would advise you guys to look at the list of categories and how much the referral fee costs, because sometimes the same product, depending on the path category path that you choose, could have different percentages of fees that you have to pay Amazon. So for example, clothing and shoes and jewelry might actually be a slightly higher percentage, like I believe maybe 17% of your price you have to pay and maybe under beauty and personal care is only 15%. Um, so that, that could be a, a really good hack for you to save a little bit of money. But um, another very important thing when you're selecting your category is that if your listings have already been created and what you're trying to do right now is just combining them and make them into variations under a parent ASIN, you have to make sure you select the exact same path of the listings that have already been created. So again, if your product, your listing it has already created as toiletry bags and they are under beauty and personal care. And then here, when you're trying to create this variation family, you go to this category that it's under clothing, shoes, and jewelry. It's not going to be compatible and you're going to get an error. So make sure that if your listings already exist and you're just trying to combine them, you find out what is the exact path, category path that they're under so you can select the same on this step. So after you decide what your path is, then click on select category. Now you're going to be directed to this listing editing page. And we started creating this almost as if we're creating a completely new product. So it's going to say in the beginning that the offer tab and the product ID are required. But right now you can ignore that. As soon as we start filling out these boxes, you will see that those will no longer be required because you do not need a new product ID for a parent ASIN. By the way, child ASIN variations, those are interchangeable names. So if I say child ASINs, that means variation, a variation listing. So you can ignore those fields and just fill out the ones that are highlighted here. So the product name, be sure to um, give your product a title, then brand name, manufacturer, or if there is any other required field, depending on your category, you would have to select that as well. Then you're going to click on the variations tab and choose your variation theme. Now for variation themes, as of right now, you're not able to change that theme later on. So what I would recommend is that you choose a theme that even if you don't need all those possibilities right now, you would be able to in the future, you would have access to in the future. For example, 
if your products are toiletry bags and all you want to do is um, sell different colors of toiletry bags, a lot of people would just select a theme color. So color name, which is a little bit up on this list. But I would encourage you to think that maybe in the future you might want to sell different sizes of toiletry bags and different sizes and different colors. So um, what I usually do is I select themes that offer me two different types of variations. So for example, in this case it would be size name, color name. So in the future I could do, oh, this is a small toiletry bag in red. This is a small toiletry bag in blue. This is a medium toiletry bag in red, medium toiletry bag in blue. So you have those possibilities, even if you don't want to use those right now. So that's what I would recommend. So after you decide your variation theme, go ahead and click on one. And then here it's going to prompt you to fill out the exact name of the variation theme that you decided. So in this case, size and color. So I went ahead and um, just filled out small, medium, large, and then red. And that's going to create three variations, small red, medium red, large red. If I had gone to red and put blue over here for color, it would create six variations, which would be small red, small blue, medium red, medium blue, large red, large blue. You can also do one by one if you don't want to, if you just want some of these options. So let's say you want small red and then medium blue only, then you would just right here, small red, click add variations, and then you would go the other one, medium blue, add variations, and you will see that it's going to take you to the next slide where it was, it's going to arrange all of these options in these rows. Now, there are two scenarios here that I want to make sure I address. The first one is if you're creating this from scratch, you don't have the product yet. For example, your toiletry bag listing does not exist yet in Seller Central. If that is the case, these are the only fields that you need to fill out. You can fill out Seller SKU if you want to, if you have your own seller SKU, it's fine, but you don't have to. So you would need to put a product ID, which would be a UPC code. And then under product ID type, you would select UPC. And then the condition, which most likely I'm assuming new, then your price and then quantity. And then you do that for every single one of your variations that you try to create. And then after you filled out everything, remember I said you didn't have to worry about product ID and the offer tab in the um, previous slides, you will see that it will no longer require you to do because you did everything here. So you're, once you fill out everything, you're going to see that you're going to be able to click on the button save and finish. So that is the first scenario. Now, the second scenario is when your listings already exist. So if you have already created a listing for toiletry bags, for example, and it's already on Amazon and it already has a seller SKU, it already has an ASIN, then this is very important. You need to match exactly the same information of the existing listings or listing. Let's say, for example, you have one and you're trying to create two more. Make sure you um, match the exact information of the one that already exists here. So the same seller SKU, the same product ID, and then condition and price, everything. That's going to make sure that your existing listing is only going to be moved under this new parent ASIN and not you're not going to create a duplicate listing. So um, this is very important. If the listing or listings already exist, make sure to match the exact information, including the seller SKU that you didn't need to fill out in the previous step. And then the same way that you did um, previously, you would create, uh, you will click on save and finish button. And then after you've done that, you're done. You've created your variations and you're probably gonna have to wait a few minutes and then th they're going to show up under your manage inventory page just like this it's going to you're going to see that it's going to say variations and then parentheses the number of variations that you've created um this one's different this one says four but if it, we use the same example of what we were just doing it would say three under parentheses and then you'd have to click on this little arrow here to expand 
for you to be able to see all of your variation options. So if you ever want to edit a specific variation, then you would come to this, these buttons over here under the variations, not under the parent ASIN. Okay. And then I also wanted to show you guys how to add a variation later on when the parent ASIN already exists. So let's say you've already been selling your to toiletry bags, um, small, medium, large, and red, and now you want to add a small blue variation. So from your seller central homepage, you would go to uh, hover again over inventory and then click on manage inventory. And then here you would actually click on this button that says add a variation. Next, you're going to select this first option, which is add to or update an existing variation family. And then here you would input the ASIN of, it doesn't have to be the parent ASIN, it could be any of the already existing child ASINs or the parent ASIN. And then you click on search and then it's going to populate what that variation family looks like, the parent ASIN with all of the details and the child ASINs that already exist. And then all you have to do is click on the button that says add variation on the very bottom. From here, it would be very similar to what we did before. We would fill out all of these required, uh, required fields, um, product name, which is the title of your listing, product ID type, the product ID, the UPC code or something like that, the variation theme, you it's going to follow the same one that you've selected before so um, you would just have to select in this case it's size name color name you would have to select what size that one is and what color and the condition quantity price and then let me move myself out of the way here then you click on save and that's it. That's, that's how you create your Amazon product variations in Seller Centro. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions at all, be sure to leave those in the comments below. We're always here to help. And um, if you have any issues, I know lately Amazon has been giving out a bunch of error messages for no reason, seemingly. But yes, I really hope this was a comprehensive and easy step-by-step -step tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave those all right looks like our cat wants to be in the video <laughs> but anyways be sure to leave this a thumbs up subscribe to the channel click on the notification bell again thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys in future videos